KTRS. Larry from uh, R&D with uh, First Rule. First of all, publicly, let me thank you for all of the extra time you put in trying to get us back on the air. Oh, hey, that's what I, I try to try to save people from tech problems well, when was, I can. <laughs> it was pretty bad. It was uh, it was terrible, but you were nice enough oh, to happy go to help. above and beyond. All right, what do we got today? All right, so uh, we're going to do ridiculous tech gadgets that I saw online this week, yep. specifically regarding pets, food, and travel, which are segments you have on your show. So while you weren't helping us, you were trolling the Internet for some goofy, I was, goofy apps. On and the, these, on the these came okay. to me. Two of them were really, really <laughs> uh, talked about this week online. All right. The first I think I saw the most on Facebook, which is for your pet. It's called Pet Chats, spelled with a Z. Yes. And it is literally a device that you put on your wall, and it allows your pet to call you and for you to call your pet via an app on your phone. Uh, this is, again, a ridiculous tech gadget, but <laughs> right. I, I, I heard a lot of people really excited about it. The idea is that not only can you call your pet and it makes a noise and they can come to it and see you on the screen, right. but you're able to then give them treats from this and opens a little thing and shoots out a little treat. It also has a little device that has a paw on it that you could train your pet to hit, and it'll actually call you on your phone and you could have a video chat with oh your Oh, my paw. goodness. So you're, <laughs> That's unbelievable. Now, how much does that thing cost? Uh, it's $379 for the device <laughs> and $99 for the pet call, which they call a paw call, <laughs> little device that allows the pet to actually call you. If that was more reasonably priced, everybody would buy it. I think a lot of people, especially for... You know, some gag gifts too. Right, right, right. <laughs> so if, if, if it were gift. 40, 50 bucks, I'd oh. buy it. But oh, yeah. 300. Sorry, Molly, you're on your own. But uh, yeah, a little bit ridiculous. All right, petchats.com <laughs> yep. to find out more. All right. So moving right on to food. Uh, this one's not quite as ridiculous, but when you watch it, if you, if you guys are listening right now, if you go watch the stream later on, uh, it is a Kawasaki, you know, famous uh, yeah. Japanese company, right. has made a sushi making robot. Uh, this robot uh, is actually for sale now, and you can go see it uh, demoed at the Kawasaki showroom in Tokyo. Uh, and it, it, it is a fast machine with multiple arms that reaches around, grabs all the parts of the sushi, puts it together for you automatically. Uh, and uh, again, maybe not as ridiculous, but in, when you're watching it, it's a ridiculous right. spectacle so, to watch. So there could be a sushi bar made of robots. Yes. And I think you'll see that popping up very quickly in Japan because they uh, they like that sort of stuff. All right. If you go so. to the showroom in Tokyo to the Kawasaki plant, call uh, Altair Travel and Cruises for all of your travel needs. Uh, what's number three? Number three. <laughs> uh, this one is probably the most ridiculous. Speaking of travel. I don't know. Your, your pet calling you is pretty ridiculous. I don't know. <laughs> this one's called the Moto Bag. It is a piece of luggage that you can ride. <laughs> It's, uh, it literally is a carry-on bag that's TSA compliant, yes. but it happens to have like a moped scooter built into it uh, that allows you to actually mount your luggage <laughs> and ride three or four times the speed you can walk. Right. <laughs> down the corridors of the airport. <laughs> now, here's the ridiculous thing. As ridiculous as I think this is, not necessarily as a function, but when you watch people on it, right. it looks ridiculous. You almost get the, the two fat guys on a bicycle from the 1920s kind it, of it, it, Well, it, it kind of looks like Kyle McClellan, who was on that uh, motorized beer beer uh, cooler. Remember when he was out mm. in the beer cooler? Oh, out in the outfield? Remember he had that beer cooler? It yeah, was it's basically a little. Uh, it was motorized. a motorized beer cooler. Uh, it was yeah. yeah. All right. So. so ridiculous. But here's the thing: as ridiculous as I might think it is, uh, it's currently being crowd crowdfunded on Indiegogo. Of course it is. Fifty thousand dollar goal. They've got three hundred and seven thousand dollars so far, with each of these costing a thousand dollars each. So one thousand dollars for a motorized luggage. Correct. <laughs> the airports will never be the same, McGraw. I would so. buy. I don't know. That's not a bad idea. Just, I mean, talk about a conversation piece. Right. Right? That's pretty Actually good. zooming down. Uh -huh. uh, all right. You can find that. That's, um, what's that? YouTube? It's, what's called, that? it's called the, the Moto Bag. The Moto Bag. So if you search the Moto Bag on Google, you'll find it. Uh, Moto Bag, uh, Kawasaki Sushi Making Robot, and of course, uh, your pet can call you. Good thing Kelly's not here. She would be $379 <laughs> lighter after right. this segment. Uh, Larry Steinbeck, have a good weekend. Thanks for checking in. See you later. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Cutting edge technology. Every week here, uh, Larry Stenneback, Big 550, KTR.